Hello and welcome back to Please Don't Make a Scene and it's day six of our Christmas countdown and today we are talking not about a classic, not of uh, one of my personal favorites, we are talking about THE classic Christmas movie. I am of course talking about It's a Wonderful Life. Yes, It's a Wonderful Life, the movie about George Bailey and his, hmm, how should we say it? misadventures uh, in life. It's not always been a classic, I just should just say right off the bat. It hasn't always been a classic. Uh, it was actually in the 70s, I think, when it became public domain that a lot of uh, TV stations in America then uh, started showing it and it became this Christmas classic. Uh, it was nominated for Oscars when it came out in the 40s, but it never really caught on until the 70s, which is strange. But anyway, here we are in 2016, and it is, if not uh, in the top position, it's in the top five of pretty much any Christmas movie list. So, it's a wonderful life. It's about George Bailey. It's about George Bailey, this is not a spoiler, uh, trying to commit suicide. Yes, in the first five minutes, we bear witness to some angels talking about George Bailey and how he's about to end his life. So they actually send an angel to uh, try to stop him from doing this. But before the angel is allowed to go down and, uh, and uh, help George, he has to watch um, George's life story. And that's what the movie is. We get to watch George Bailey from the very, from his childhood, uh, where he saves his brother from a hole in the ice they were skating and because of that he he gets uh, deaf in one ear we see him struggling during the uh, the high school years uh, putting his life on hold to help his father with the uh, with the family business and we see how George uh, yeah really like I said puts his his dreams and his aspirations you know he wants to travel the world he wants to become a famous architect. Um, you know, he, he wants to he wants to live, you know, experience this world. But he puts it all on hold time and time again throughout his life to help other people, help his family, help his town where he lives. Uh, he marries uh, the girl of his dreams. But all these decisions he makes are not for himself, they are for other people. So after a lifetime of arrested development, he is pushing 40, pushing 50 even. He is in, in heavy debt. He's living in an old uh, house that's falling apart. And he's, he's having a really hard time really coping with the situation. It's been... He, he has constantly been uh, disappointed throughout his life. And it's just, you know... He's not really feeling it. Let's just say it like that. He's not feeling it at all. So he's pushed to the limit. But at that point, the angel appears. It's a tremendous movie. It's hard to say anything bad about it, really. One thing, it's not really a Christmas movie. I mean, the the event of the the suicide and the, the last uh, fifth of the movie takes place on Christmas. But other than that, it really takes place, you know, through, throughout an entire uh, lifespan. But it has become a Christmas uh, Christmas classic just because, well, because the ending is set on Christmas. And it is such a Christmas miracle. It is definitely a Christmas miracle movie. But, you know, just... just um, Talking about it as, as a movie, you could watch this movie anytime. It's, you, you don't have to watch it just at Christmas. Um, and because of that, it just, it just, you know, makes it even better, you know, that it's not just a good Christmas movie, it's a great movie. Because you have some amazing performances, especially by, uh, James Stewart, uh, playing uh, George Bailey. He is amazing in this movie. James Stewart has this very, you know, certain kind of way of acting. He's very, you know, 
almost laid back. It feels very natural and it's just great to see. I, I haven't actually seen too many movies with him, but you know, I want to because he is a great, well, he was a great actor. Yeah, he was a great actor. And I wanted to throw, uh, throw out a clip here where uh, uh, James Stewart and Donna Reed, who plays his future uh, wife, his love interest, uh, meet up for the first time in years. <clears throat> they knew each other as children, and now they've uh, now they're in their college years, and they're meeting up for the first time in, in a long time. And they have a little uh, they have a little interaction. What is it you want, Mary? What do you want? You you want the moon? Just say the word, and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, Mary. I'll take it. Then what? Well, then you could swallow it, and it all dissolve, see? And the moonbeams would shoot out of your fingers and your toes and the ends of your hair. Am I talking too much? Yes! Why don't you kiss her instead of talking to death? How is that? Why don't you kiss her instead of talking her to death? Want me to kiss her, huh? Oh, youth is wasted on the wrong people. So yeah, I don't know if you noticed there, but like I said, James Stewart, great actor. Um, and the whole movie has this, you know, like, just like in this clip, it has this dreamlike quality. Even in the sad parts, it feels not like a, um, like you're telling a sad story. It, it, it still has this like fairy tale dreamlike feeling, I, 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 I think, which, which helps because it gets very sad and very dark at, at some parts. And that helps to alleviate some of the, uh, the heaviness, the dourness of the movie. It has quickly become one of my favorite uh, Christmas movies. So, uh, yeah, I, I felt I should, I almost have to talk about it, you know. Even if I didn't like it, it would, I would have to talk about it because it is the essential uh, Christmas movie uh, together with, with a few others. But that's it. Um, that's all I have to say about It's a Wonderful Life. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is Christmas Eve and it's our final episode. I'm going to talk about my absolute favorite Christmas movie of all time. But until then, um, have a good one and of course, Merry Christmas.